horrific event. This is a uh, train collision between a commuter train and a freight train just northwest of Los Angeles near Chatsworth. Listen to Mr. Thompson's report on the world crisis. Well, November there is 22nd. more drama on the financial front today. The Fed's considering a new way to pump up what is a very faltering economy with the government potentially taking ownership stakes in U.S. banks, even some healthy Twin ones. cities this morning Federal were covering the latest uh, details coming into us about this bridge collapse. And in fact, we have so actually with obtained... that kind of a prediction, do you hear that? A inflationary depression is coming down the road. And Listen to Mr. Thompson's report on the world crisis, November 22nd. <laughs> This is an NBC News special report, a presidential address. Mr. President of the United States, today as before, the fate of millions across the world depends upon the unity and resolve of the American people. Our country has shed more blood for the freedom of other people than all the other countries in the world combined. We are steeped in the tradition of honor and sacrifice for the greater good. We are proud of this heritage. I believe that Americans are once again ready to achieve this greater good. Ready to achieve this greater good. Greater good. This greater good. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thompson will not speak to you tonight. His time is up. I have taken it over. You were to hear a report on the world crisis. That is what you are going to hear. For 12 years you have been asking, who is John Galt? This is John Galt speaking. I am the man who loves his life. I am the man who does not sacrifice his love or his values. I am the man who has deprived you of victims and thus has destroyed your world. And if you wish to know why you are perishing, you who dread knowledge, I am the man who will now tell you.